Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation and a review of Ecopads slash Ecofem. Um, Ecopads Australia was uh, funded on crowdfunding website Start Something Good in 2016 and was created by Frida, a social entrepreneur passionate about the environment and equality. He came from a rich Cambodian cultural background. Uh, her parents were both born and raised in Cambodia and fled to Australia after escaping the Civil War and where Frida was born. She grew up uh, quite uh, multicultural and of a immersed in both Western and Eastern cultures and of course this helped shape uh, her view of the world and uh, created and shaped her personal values and passions for the environment, equality and human rights. Um, she was selected uh, into the Impact Academy Accelerator, Pro Accelerator Program um, in 2016, which not only fostered the growth um, and development of Ecopads as a company, but provided an access to networks and ongoing one-on-one -on -one mentoring with Peter Ball. Um, she also... Uh, had a partnership with Christine Tai at CTWO Creative um, and this has uh, encouraged um, encouraged a digital space marketing and design of the uh, what was the Ecopads website. She also had Karina Nguyen um, of public for her public relations and had a variety of volunteers and supporters. She was introduced to the world of cloth pads and uh, this kind of led uh, to her surprise um, when people reacted with confusion disgust um, before they came to acceptance and admiration. Soon after purchasing a few cloth pads, Frida uh, took up sewing to begin to make them for herself, her friends and her family. Eco Pads Australia, of course, was born out of all of this. She has sold hundreds of uh, cloth pads um, at markets and through an Etsy store before going for her own website. She also created a one for one model that made it possible to also found a kind of Eco Pads charity at the same time. And um, now that she and she sold e Ecopads cloth pads um, in Australia, Vanuatu, New Zealand, Singapore, Sweden, Papua New Guinea, Ireland and the United Kingdom. And of course, the crowdfunding made it possible to uh, boost some of her business. Ecofem, so these two sets of cloth pads. This is Chinese made Ecopads. This is Australian made Ecopads. And these two are Indian made Ecofem pads. When you bought the box, I did a couple of unboxing of Eco, um, of Ecopads when I ordered from them. The sewing kits that I got were from Ecopads as well. Um, and uh, they, you also, they also sent you this tea. So you can actually go have a look at the Ecopads to see what I've got. You get little booklets in there as well. And uh, you get a, some yoga poses here as well. That managed to focus on that, but not on this for some reason. Such an odd thing that it chooses. Um, it gives you uh, some little washing guides that they send you as well. Um, and cards like this. And this is the Ecofem. Uh, one as well that was placed in to here so it gave you more information on Ecofem as well okay yeah I've got my, some stuff on my mobile to read out to everyone okay so this is all the types of stuff that still doesn't want to focus on this there we go, and so this provides you with more information. Okay, so back to the pads. 
<laughs> so ECFM um, is a woman-led social enterprise founded in 2010 in uh, based out of Tamil Nadu in India um, whose goal it is to create environmental and social change through re revitalizing menstrual practices that are healthy environmentally sustainable there we go that maybe is a better view for everybody um, sustainably culturally responsive and empowering they produce and sell washable cloth pads provide menstrual health education and open dialogues on menstrual education all along the way ecofem um, has other uh, bases around india in call included in oroville south india um, which is a unesco endorsed city in the making that aspires towards international humanity um, unity with a rippling effect for the rest of india Oroville is a hub for innovators and change makers interested in maintaining a collective climate for or positive development and progress, particularly in the areas of sustainable living and green practices. This is in part what uh, inspired Ecofem's uh, project and growth. Ecofem also have offices in Orofil Fam, out, um, Old Inside India. Production, um, stitching of the pads is taking place in five different units. Um, including the Oroville Village Action Group um, and in Bangalore and uh, Kira Bua unit. All of their five units take on stitching work as well as um, uh, being directly employed um, with fair wage and safe working environments for all the, of the women employed in these units. Um, their not-for-profit outreach uh, work uh, through Pads for Pads and Pads for Sisters takes place primarily through implementation partnerships with um, organisations based around um, India that specialise in their own region or area. So they were the two, um, Ecofem and uh, Ecopads Australia. Unfortunately, Ecopads closed in 2022. Um, I did make a final order, which is where this these two sets of cloth pads one came from i did get another couple of sets that i gave away i mean they sale because they were like i think 50 or 60 percent off the last week um to get obviously to get rid of their stock um which obviously then i passed on some to some other people and just kept a set each for myself i passed on one set like this one set like this and one set like this um and this came with a little bag as well so these are very cute little pads they're very um, adorable as you've noticed probably in the last three cycles to four cycles i think i've had them four cycles um i have been using these to give you a um kind of a, i guess a more interesting insight into them um these ones here of course have corduroy backers which as you will know are my favorite backers um ever because they grip to your underwear and don't um move um these two are just patternless as you can see but um they are very very good are very very useful and obviously have held up really really well um, i think this one's 11 inches 10 inches maybe it's 12 inches and then of course this one's quite thin and then um these two patterned ones these ones are kind of standard um cheapy ones these one can be quite hot to wear so if you are in a hot or humid environment wearing plastic back ones is probably not the best and it can kind of increase the temperature the print is kind of amazing though so there's that um these ones being organic cotton um it can stain a little bit um these are apparently vegetable dyes that they have used on these four um these four here um are organic cotton again um, in or Indian undyed organic cotton and these are vegetable dyed organic cotton um, these are very comfortable for wear um, this bonded um, this bonded PUL is actually much more um, kind of breathable than just this straight up 
uh, PUL. So if you actually, and probably that has to do with the fact that India is a very humid climate um, as a country. Um, so if you actually wanted good uh, backer that's a PUL, probably this backer, which is a PUL bonded cotton, is much better for you to be wearing uh, in general. Other than that, I've had a quite a good experience wearing all of these products. Um, probably, as I said before, except for these three, which can be quite hot um, to wear. And this can get quite uncomfortable to wear as well. Um, it doesn't get sticky though. So um, if you're, you know, this, if you can get past or if you live in a cold enough environment, um, then the heat's probably not going to affect you. Then this is, um, this does wick away pretty good or pretty well, what do you want to say? Um, and of course, as you well know, as I mentioned, the corduroy backers on these ones are pretty good. The, um, these, as you've noticed, these are actually quite flat. Um, so these ones here, these are snaps because they're so flat, actually don't bother you as much. These are also nickel free, I believe they're nickel free, um, but these snaps are very, very thin, very, very well done. And um, if snaps bother you, because these snaps here, uh, I suppose traditional cam snaps, um, and so uh, these are just, I'm just gonna snap it to, it doesn't want to snap, of course, because, um, so these, not that there's a substantial, Different. Ah, of course I pick up three at once. Um, I wonder if it's going to focus. There is a difference when you're wearing them that this is very, has just much less bothering. So if you are sensitive in this way, this is the, what, the type of snap that you want to be looking for, where it's essentially flush with the fabric. Um, this one here is not flush with the fabric and just has a bigger surface area. So um, and just a side hint if that's something that does bother you with cloth pads. Outside of that, I would recommend them if you weren't, um, if they hadn't have closed down. But I believe you will be able to find uh, Ecofem here and you will be able to still support their one for one charity. You'll just have to order them from the Indian website um, and get them um, over here internationally posted. So I will link everything down below so you guys can have a, uh, a look at check it out these are quite high quality these are very well done actually so are these but um you just can't probably access them uh, much more these do very much um come across as uh you might remember one of my favorite makers is go with your flow um i believe she still sells on facebook i can't really check because i don't have facebook um who really does anymore but um I believe she was selling on um, a Facebook marketplace, so these kind of come across very similarly to her work. Um, but if you can find corduroy backed ones in general, I would always definitely recommend them uh, to get because they are um, exceptionally useful when you wear cloth pads. So outside of that, always would recommend. Ecofilm will be linked down below. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on, of course, where you are in the day. And I will catch up with you all next video. Bye, everyone.